you know, after uh, coming off the year that we had, it's interesting. We've come off years uh, bull qualified and in position and excited. Uh, and I got to be honest with you, coming off a season that was less than uh, what we desired, uh, the feeling is even more. It's even greater to want to uh, to get back at it. Uh, we've had our best summer that we've had all in our tenure here. We've had a great spring football season. Uh, we have a great recruiting class uh, and just very, very eager, uh, honestly, to redeem ourselves, to go out and put a brand of football onto the field, to make our city, uh, to make our university, to make our state proud of us. What about Frank? I know you're always going to be asked about the quarterback situation. Yeah. We just talked to Frank. Uh, what's yeah. that going into the preseason workouts? For the, how, how that you know, it's up? big. It's really big because um, it's a tremendous void uh, of a play that was absent a year ago. And we need that position more than anyone else uh, to come alive. And so we have viable people that are challenging for it. Uh, it went well this spring, the summer went well as well. Uh, but this fall camp leading into this opener on the 31st, it's critical that we start fast, we have the right personnel uh, out there leading our football team so that we can get off uh, on a good foot in this season. And so. Uh, it's our it's our most glaring position of need of improvement as well as an offense that has a great desire to improve in this year Does anybody have a lead over anybody else? I don't think so right now. Okay. You know, I think you know, you go through 15 practices uh, Take one away in the spring game a uh, couple of walkthroughs and so you got 13 practices 12 to try to determine I think there's a lot of work still to be desired to put out continue to put our guys in position to declare uh, themselves as a starter. I think we have about three guys that are chopping at a bit. We have five total, but we have three that are really gunning for it and trying to uh, position themselves to be the to be the starter. Would that be Frank Cordell and Lowell? <laughs> uh, we've got three guys, and uh, Frank Lowell and, and uh, Cordell are, are three of the five that are involved in, in our team or part of the five. Um, but those guys are very much in the mix as well. Yeah. Physically, how's Frank Harris look coming away from the offseason workouts? Looks great. Uh, bigger, faster, stronger than he's ever been. Uh, had an outstanding spring season for us, and summer was even better. Frank, what about the offense? I know you know changed yeah. the offense coordinators, and, and uh, Frank, you know Frank has said, hey, you know we're, you know we want to redeem ourselves at home for want to get better and stuff. What, what how different is the offense going to be? With, with, with yeah, you, you, you know, the big two things we've improved on uh, personnel standpoint. Um, guys that uh, are healthy, guys that are able, and then guys that have come to the, to the roster that may not have been here a year ago. Guys that are uh, a little more uh, polished of being a, a, a true freshman a year ago and Tyke and Tyreek, guys like that, and Brennan Brady, uh, adding a Rashad Wisdom, adding the four guys to our receiver class that have stature, that have speed, and that are, are, are as big and faster than anybody that we've had on our roster in our tenure here at that position bodes well for us. Uh, I think we're exciting on the outside. I think we've had tremendous addition in the backfield, and I think our offensive line is much improved. Uh, the reality is we have nowhere else to go but up. From an offensive perspective, uh, we embrace that challenge, and uh, and we're eager to do so. Frank, you're gonna split the practices, the first the first few practices. Yeah. How long are you gonna do that, and what's the logic behind that? Yeah. So uh, probably three to four days. Uh, the reality is that we're, we're we're true to our and earnest to our team, and so our veteran guys uh, who have worked and positioned themselves to challenge for the starting job, uh, they'll get that chance. Uh, these young guys that we bought in, and we said to them, you'll have an opportunity to compete for the starting job. Well, the reality is when you're four or five deep at a position. The fourth, third, fifth guy won't get many reps unless you divide the, the practice up and you have a starter in the AM practice, a starter in the PM practice, and you're getting the same volume of quality work that you can have true assessment of these guys. And so our split practices are designed uh, to continue to develop our team, to evaluate our team continuously with guys getting uh, the volume of work needed to make those determinations. If you put them, you know, at one point, they'll all come together and somebody's reps will be cut. And so we hope in these three to four days of practice is divided, that kind of clears itself for us so we can have logically three weeks going into uh, the opener 
to uh, to bring our team together with the chemistry we desire. How is the structure of fall camp for the points of emphasis going to be different compared to last year, if at all? Um, you know, the emphasis of, of, of practice, you know, our culture has never changed. We've always embraced and done hard things. Uh, we've always went out and, and competed at a high level. That will stay the same. Nothing has been wrong with our culture. Uh, we had personnel issues that we needed to improve upon. Uh, we've um, improved upon those personnel issues with our football team of development of the ones that are currently with us and recruitment that the, of the ones that we've bought in. And so I think that's the biggest difference. Uh, from a philosophical or schematic standpoint, uh, we just, we're, we're going to be more innovative in our style of play. Uh, we won't be as uh, obvious in certain down in situations by presentation and by play design uh, of what we're trying to do and, and pushing the ball more to personnel, more than just a scheme of guys that can make those plays for us. Frank, what kind of report did you get back this summer or reports from the strength and conditioning people as far as yeah. participation and how the guys showed up, worked yeah. out and everything? Did you get some good, good So food? finally got a chance today to talk to Coach, uh, to Coach Philo in the last couple of days really and just talking about uh, the health of our team, uh, where we're at, uh, the strength of our team, where we're at, uh, the speed of our team. And in all three of those areas, we're healthier, uh, we're bigger, we're stronger, we're faster than we've ever been before. And that's, that's gratifying. That's so good to hear. Uh, our strength conditioning staff is, is second to none. And basically, we've given our team to them for the last nine weeks for veteran players the last six weeks for our incoming freshmen and now they give them back to us uh, to do what we do to put them in position with a body of work equipped and tuned uh, physically to go out and do the job mentally as well and so I think in all of those phases we've improved our football team. Frank you guys are having an open practice in a few weeks well how important was it to get the, something like that for the fans involved? Yeah uh, it's big you know our, our fans are stakeholders as well they have uh, vested interest in our football team, uh, we're their team. And so we want them to, to be able to get a glimpse shot when other people across the state, across the country cannot, uh, that our loyal fans, our local fans, the people who drive in, the families, the friends, uh, to be able to come out and, and take a sneak preview before that kickoff of the team, where we're at right now. And so uh, we're excited to be able to show them and showcase our team to our fans. I still can't believe we're playing the season opener that we're playing, and, and, and you, ex you, ex you have high expectations for every yeah. preseason camp, yeah. even though it's high. Is it going to amp up just a little bit more because of this season opener? Uh, because of the opponent? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the same city. <laughs> uh, I don't know so much because of the, that it's that opponent, uh, but it's so much because of us wanting to be the best that we can be, wanting to show well for our city. We are the Division I top tier university in the city of San Antonio, and we want to play to that, to that standard. And so we want to go out and, uh, and do the best that we can and show the best that we can in spite of who would have been that opponent. Frank, all those lines, speaking of your fans, you know, you have a lot of interest out there all yeah. summer long. People have asked me their UTSA fans, why are we playing this game? You know, why, why do we play? Understand, you know, yeah. They know FBS teams play FCS yeah. teams, but why don't we're playing an FCS team? And the thing they always tell me, we've got. Everything lose, nothing to gain. Yeah. Just, it's not, almost a cliche, I know. But yeah, they want it. It's what the city wants. There you go, man. And so there we're going to deliver. Yeah. We'll, we'll give the city what they want, and uh, they're deserving of it. Uh, they've asked for it. We've worked it out, and uh, <laughs> we're excited to play a quality opponent. And then Cornet works. It's like one of those wrestling matches. Loser leaves yeah. town. You're not, yeah. Loser's not going to leave town, is it? We're going to compete, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, uh, how does Cordell Grundy look different compared to a year ago? What have you seen? Uh, I just throw? saw him in the, uh, as I was walking in with his shirt off, and uh, it's, it's amazing how his body has changed. Uh, again, he's always put himself in position to buy for the job just because he's so intellectually inclined and does so much outside of the physical but the mental, and now his body is starting to take shape. You know, when he came from Northeast, Oklahoma Junior College, physically, he was frail. He wasn't so intellectually, he could say the things and be able to uh, put us in position, but his body still had some maturation to, to, to go. He's gotten to that point where he, uh, his mental can now match, or his physical can now match his mental, uh, which makes him a viable guy for it. So I just think that he's physically taking himself another level, as, well, as all of them.
How about uh, Lowell from a fitness standpoint? I know that was a focus in the spring. What have you seen as that's progressed? You know, he gives us um, a, a big body. You know, he's 225 pounds. He's competed and trained um, in the SEC. He's a guy that uh, that has toughness, that has wherewithal, that has moxie, that can run it, that can throw it. Uh, that that's very much in the talks for the position as well. Frank, is that is that what's changed as far as the condition? I mean, the, like you said, the shape these guys would get in yeah. from the old days, quote unquote. That uh, the old days guys would go home and they yeah. train on their own stuff. Now all these guys go to summer school. Yeah. They're they're working out with strength and conditioning coach. So at the very least, most of these guys are showing up in great. Yeah, the, just because that's part of the culture, yeah, right? You yeah. almost got to be here. It's year round, and so we're very fortunate that we have an athletic director and principal and president that allows us. Uh, to keep our kids here year-round, to develop them uh, academically, athletically, uh, and physically, right. to be prepared to for the rigors of a season that's enduring. And so, um, our summer program has been outstanding. We've positioned guys for graduation. We've uh, advanced guys physically, um, and it's allowed our football to accelerate to play at a high level against the opponents that we'll have to play against. Do you have a timetable that you'd like to find a quarterback, or could that go right up to week one? It can go all the way up to week one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you.